Good morning. Please take out your morning work folder and open up to literacy number four, the penguin with the four on his tummy. We're going to do the same activities that we've been doing um, on today's literacy page. So we have to write the beginning and the end sound for each of these um, images that they've given us in the presence. The first one is a box. And so a box begins with the letter that says B. We know that is a B. So we need to make a B. And the N sound is K, which is made by the X. B O X. Book ox. Box. Next we have a book. We hear that B sound again. So there's our B. Then we have the U sound in the middle made by two O's, and the ending sound is K, and that is made with a K. Because we have this U uh sound in the middle and not a short vowel sound, we don't get the CK. The CK only comes after a short vowel sound, okay? So the last image is jam. So they've given us the vowel sound, ah, in the middle. The first sound is J. It's made by the lower K. J, J, A, M, an M at the end. In the middle, we have the sight words big and not. Big is spelled B I G. I need to color the first one. I'm going to trace the second one, B I and G, and then I'm going to write it on my own on the third line. B I G. For the next one, I need to do the same thing. I need to color the first one in O T. Then I need to trace in O T. And for the last one, I need to write it in O T. Not. Okay. At the bottom, I'm going to grab a crayon so I can do some coloring. I need to color the words in the am family. The words need to end in a-m, am. So this one, j, am, that needs to be colored. T, a, n, tan, that's a-n. Very close, but I'm not going to color that. The next one is r, am. There's another am family. I need to color this snowflake. This one is s-a-d, not in the am family. The last one is h. A -M, am, ham, ham, that needs to be colored. So I need to color in jam, ram, and ham. Perfect. Now we need to flip the page over and do our backside. Turn your page over. Make sure the ornament says math four, that there's a number four. Okay. So I can use a tin frame to write an addition sentence. We've been practicing this last week and we're going to continue. So this time we're going to make the number six. We have two sets of items that equal six. So I have reindeer and candy canes. One, two, three, four, five. I have five reindeer. So my five needs to go in the first box. And I have just one candy cane. So if I have five of one thing and one of another, five plus one equals six. For this problem, I'm making eight, okay? So I have some bags and I have some presents. I have one, two bags, and how many presents do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six presents. So if I have two and six, I get a total of eight. And I can double check that by counting it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two and six give me eight. In the middle, I'm counting on. So they give me a number in the engine, and I count on. The number I have is three. After three comes four, then five, six, and seven. The next train starts with nine. After nine, I have 10, 11, 12, and 13. Remember with these two digit numbers, 
I always start at the left and go to the right. So because I'm in the teens, the one comes first and then the next number. So 10, 11, 12, 13. At the bottom, I have to count the snowballs and write the total in the mitten. So let's count how many snowballs are in this set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine snowballs here. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven snowballs here. Nine and seven. All right, finish up all your work. Make sure you got everything written down correctly, and then you can put your morning work folder away. Good job.